K-I-L-R Taylor Games Hello gamers, simmers, and pilots. I am the Killer Gamer and welcome to my tour around the world featuring Flight Simulator 4 by Microsoft. And we are in the process of doing a little bit of catch up with the uh, other simulators that I've been doing videos on. They are, let's see, they currently finished leg number seven, I believe and are going to leg number eight so and this one here is leg number four let's see oh here to page or yeah this is this is number four so we're getting closer we're getting closer but the idea is to have this in sync with them um not any reference to the band or anything but uh I strive to get all versions of the simulator out on Saturdays um, because our theme on this uh, channel is Sim Saturday. Now I know you might be thinking why not Flight Simulator Friday <laughs> or Friday Flight Simulator. Friday is saved for sci-fi. I was having some sci-fi stuff coming out on this channel on Fridays and um, I started focusing on Flight Simulator because it's not just me wanting to play these old simulators. I am looking to actually travel around the world and explore and adventure and learn about the places that I'm going. And if you watch the X-Plane series, you'll see that I do this documentary after we land about the airport, about where it is where we landed, things that we can do, etc. So this gives me a chance to actually travel around the world um, without being in danger or um, spending a lot of money. And one, I don't have a I don't have a pilot's license, and two, there's no way I'd be able to afford a plane. And three, if I had a plane, there's no way I'd be able to afford the maintenance and and everything that goes with it to do as much flying as what we're planning to do. Um, you, I think you'd have to be like a millionaire billionaire or something like that in, in order to do that much flying, you know, and be able to pay for it. Um, anyhow, let's go ahead and talk about what we're doing and where we're going and who we're going to meet. <laughs> we're here, Aurora. We're going here. To Clow International. Clow International. And let's see. Ooh. Whoa. How did that get way over there? I'll put that down there. Sorry, my windows are getting kind of mixed up. Um, to get to Clow... This DuPage Vor, this is what I've done on the other ones. If I tune in to, I think it's 135 and this Joliet one at about, whoops, <laughs> this is Lewis. I'm planning to go to Lewis, but just not, not at this point. We will be making our way back back around this way and we'll land at Lewis. Three. Yeah, zero three. Zero three and no one three. There we go. One three zero and zero three zero. We should intersect right about there and then we can turn due south and we should be set. Alright, so 
I don't think we need to. Since I discovered it, you can have your DME for either one. You just, you know, you just click the thing here. <laughs> that is just so cool. All right. I usually like to have the airport that I'm going to as VOR number one, assuming the VOR is, is sitting there. Okay, and then Joliet. Whoops, it's already set for Joliet. We're doing zero three zero. Actually, yeah, yeah, that's fine. All right, that looks good. Okay, what direction are we? We're facing south. Now let's go, let's take this runway right here. We'll, we'll take it uh, east. M5 to start our magnetos. Oh, that's loud. Not for you, but it is for me. I gotta turn tune that down because that, oh my goodness, that's like vibe. It's like a seizure for your ear. I really love the uh, smooth and fluid movement of uh, Flight Simulator 4. I mean, this is a lot like the Amiga version, um, which I played quite a bit. Not as much as I did the Commodore 64, because the Commodore 64, we had, we had all the expansions. We had the West USA and... and and uh, I'd gotten as much as I could for the East, and I made use. I made use of it. I was actually flying cross country, and I want to do that again. Bring back all those old memories and create new ones. See, I'm creating a new memory right here with this one. And I'm a student of filmmaking. I didn't, I didn't uh, graduate or anything. I was close. I was close to graduating, but uh, you know, just some degrees are just pieces of paper. You know, and it's kind of like, oh, I got a degree in this. Oh, great. Well, what do you do? Uh, nothing. <laughs> As far as I'm concerned, I'm doing exactly what I wanted to do. I have my own channel on YouTube. I'm doing my own... I'm doing my own shows. I'm doing them how I want to do them. I can't complain, you know? At least I'm not tied up in Hollywood politics and um, all that garbage that's going on there. And again, it's been going on there for a while, hasn't it? By the way, in case you're wondering, I've uh, bumped up the realism on this. So that way, uh, the compass drifts and the altimeter drifts. And I got my auto, auto coordination off, so that way I can use my rudder separate. It helps when lining up with the runway and stuff.
I'd like to know what the air traffic control thing is. I'll show you. Take a look at this uh, menu. Look at number seven. Air traffic control communications. I have it starred or you know plus but what do you do? I don't know. I mean I don't know what that does. It doesn't seem to be doing anything. What's uh, C for comm radio? <clears throat> okay. It doesn't appear to... really do much. For me, this is like a cross of the Commodore 64 and the Amiga. You've got some decent graphics like, like it was with the Amiga, but the sound, you've got this PC speaker thing going on. I need the sound! Look at this. It's blinking. I don't remember ever seeing that. It's kind of cool, actually. See if I can get us leveled off here. Okay, so I'm going to change one of my graphics here. The one that was flashing. Because I want to show you what it is that I'm looking for. Okay, it's this right here. Sound graphics and aircraft upgrade. I think some people they just call it SGA. This here is going to give us uh, digitized sound, so we don't have to listen to the you know the sound or whatever it is. I'm hoping to get in contact with someone that's got FS4 and uh, someone who wants to hook me up so that way we can try to get as much as we can out of this uh, out of this flight or this tour I should say Putting our USA East back. I think that's Clow. I think this is Clow right over here. Still don't know how to look out the window. Is it under views? From cockpit south zoom. Huh. Set up windows. Oh no. That's I think that's the windows of the um I don't think that's the windows of the aircraft. <laughs> Am I still going down? We don't want to be too high. <clears throat> oh man. 
Klau. Some of these airports, they're easy to see uh, on these old ones. But let's say like Flight Simulator 5, uh, it was Lan uh, Lansing is one that we're going to. Oh my goodness. It was hard to find because it blended in with the textures. It was so hard to find. I wound up landing, I think, somewhere close to it, but <laughs> not even on, not even on the runway. I'm just like, yeah, pff, this is fine. <laughs> it's like I want to turn towards that airport, but. These have not moved to the center. This this is why we set our radios. We gotta trust our radios. Once these come to the center, we can start turning due south at 180. I just don't know what other airport that would be. <laughs> It's gotta be Clow. What else would it be? Again, we never did get hooked up on the three zero radio. I wonder why we're flying. Oh, wait a minute. No, we wanted to take one three zero. Oh, here we go. It's finally moving. This one's moving. What about this one? Looks like the other one's moving. Yep. We should be getting close. Let's start putting down our flaps and stuff. And I think... That first one, right over here, I think that's it, right there. The other one's Lewis University. See, Clow is a north-south uh, runway, whereas Lewis is east-west. So you can see that here, because we're at a heading of 139.
I can't get over the clouds. And I'm not saying, you know, they're bad or anything. It's just I I didn't have that with the Amiga. And this one, you know, reminds me of the Amiga so much. I love the Amiga computer. But it's kind of ancient history now. They've tried to make a comeback with it. Yeah, it didn't really, didn't really work. It's more of a niche computer nowadays, but I don't really see I don't see the need on having one of those new Amigas. I have an Amiga emulator, which it's the Amiga emulator is pretty awesome. It it is really good. I mean it's so good it's like it's like having an Amiga, that's how good it is. It, it, they they did such a great job with it. And if you get um, the Amiga Forever package, and just just Google it, it's by Cloanto. Uh, you will get, you will legally get the ROMs and the Kickstart and Workbench uh, discs and everything images to go with it. So you don't have to sit there and go through the internet to try to find you know ROM images or something like that. This seemed to have gone. A I mean, look at my airspeed. It's not that fast, but it sure looked like it was going fast. Ah, <sighs> okay. Well, here we are, Clow International. Um, it's not really an international airport. They just called it call it international, and I think it's because um, they just get you know people from different nations or something landing there. I'm not really sure of the story on why they call it international, but uh, yeah. So we're here. Um, uh, thanks for joining me on this flight. Um, be sure to check out this this flight on the other simulators also just to you know get a nice little comparison of what it looks like um, obviously the later ones look better but you know I think it's just kind of neat to see how things progress over the years and and not just some general progression like you know where you see some videos it's like this is flight simulator through the years blah 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 you know we're actually doing flights from one airport to the other and we're matching it as you know with the other simulators as we go so you know you really will get to see you know the difference between them all which is i don't know i think it's kind of neat well i will see you on the next leg of our flight take care and be safe We've got a long way to go in this world tour, so remember to subscribe to be notified of future flight simulator content. I've also done this same flight on other simulators, such as the ones you see on your screen, but you'll find more in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around amongst the clouds.